Hello. Hello. And hello, sir. Right. Uh, well, I'm here uh, with King Size Slim, and they've come from all the way down south. Yes, they've come from Hastings uh, because they want to rehearse a song with me uh, that's going to go on their album, which they're bringing out in the summer. And, you know, I don't get uh, asked to appear on a blues album very uh, often, so I said yes. So uh, what's, the, what's the song we're going to do? The song today we're going to do is a King Size Slim original song called Just Can't Find Your Love. Oh, nice. Hey. And... Oh, 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 hat, hat, yes, he's, no, he's quite right, he's quite right. Uh, but, sorry, I have a selection here. Um, so, um, I thought, you know, it's British, it's sort of tweedy, it's got a bit of beige in it. Not really the angle we're after. Beige is nice, obviously. Right, well, not then, really well, what we're... Okay, well, you're sticking with the beige, you see. It's, uh, you know, jazzy and... A bit too cricket for what well, Yeah, but to. look at the jaunty angle. Lovely angle, too cricket. <laughs> okay, right. Um, oh, well, I thought I'd pick up on the maritime ah. theme, you see. Lovely, wrong continent. Oh, yeah, it's American, isn't it? Yeah, right, okay, well, now this hat just screams jazz. Jeez. Okay, well, um, this one's a bit off the beaten track, but I thought, you know, okay. it's sort of wacky. We do play in North Africa, but mm -hmm. today we're in your home, you know, we're up well, North uh, England. Uh, well, okay, but this one's got bay North of England. North, okay. <clears throat> nice, Baker Boy Blues. Baker Boy. Huh? Oh, well, I think I'm feeling it now, Pablo. Okay, I, you like I, I, I feel I should have a harmonica in my pocket. Oh, in fact, is. I think one has just appeared there by the power of this hat. <laughs> okay, right, let's do the number. Okay, so starting positions, everyone. Oh, uh, excuse us, pardon yep. me. <clears throat> Shall I begin? Absolutely. There was a time when I think I knew what to say and just how to be with you If I could put two words how I feel Then the words would say Something like I just can't find your love yeah. I just can't find your love oh, I sailed for nine long years From six of the seven seas yeah. I've seen the rising of the tide, seen the moon fall to the east, yeah. But I don't know why I just can't find you. I don't know why I just can't find your love, yeah. I just can't find your love, oh, I desperately need your love. I seen the rising of the tide from Atlantis to the Caspian Sea. Yeah, I viewed the circles from the moon from the shores of tranquility. Yeah, so uh, but when I think about the way we used to be together, and when I think about the way we used to laugh and cry, and when I think about the way we used to be, it just makes me see. You know I really need your love. I really need your love. Oh, all right, all right. Do that again. Do that again. was a time when I think I knew what to say and just how to be with you. If I could put to words how I feel, then the words would say something like I just can't find your love. 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 And I don't know why I just can't find you I don't know why I just can't find your love Well, hey, we have a take. We have a take that works, man. How do you feel about the whistling? Uh, uh, sounded good, sounded good. The hat works. Sounds oh, well, good. if the hat's yeah, all right, yeah. I think right, that's the Pablo, main thing. Pablo, are you happy? Big Pablo's happy. What? That's... Happy. So... What? 
But what if he's not? It's a subtle difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, um, hooray! It's all right, everyone. He's from Barcelona. <laughs> so, can blue men sing the whites or are they hypocrites? <laughs> God, I mean, uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. There's no, there's no way around it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nothing bad ever happens to us. You know, nothing to complain about. <laughs> nothing to complain, really. You know, not in the scale of things. But you can feel the blues, otherwise you wouldn't be able to play the music, surely? Some, yeah, but I don't know how. How does that work? Uh, well, I don't know. Do you actually have to be blue, as in feeling low, to okay. play the blues properly? I, I, I think it helps. Oh, if you, really? Well, perhaps if you, if, you, if you have experienced some blue, that mm -hmm. certainly helps. You don't need to be blue at the time. No. I mean, and, and presumably, if you are feeling low or have been feeling low and now you're playing the blues, you're actually doing it to cheer yourself up, aren't exactly you? Exactly really? Yes, exactly that. Yeah, that's exactly what it's about. Blues is about making people, making yourself feel better by making other mm. people feel worse. Oh. It's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, you'd make the audience feel miserable. And that, that is... Uh, are you sure that's, that's your duty as a blues performer, to I make the so. audience feel miserable? Is well, that really the way you want to go? That's the angle I've been working on for a few years. OK, well, um, how's it going? I, I think it's all right. Don't get a lot of rebookings, but, I'm, you know. OK. <laughs> But now you find yourself living on a boat. Yes. yes right. The, uh, Ostracised from your, your, your native land. Yeah. Not very far. Only a couple of miles, well, 6.9 6 miles off the coast. Right. In the Merchant Vessel Seawitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there you record your blues albums. We record our music. And we actually, what we do is also broadcast our music from the ship. Um, we've done live stream stuff, you know, on YouTube, as you, as you have done. Yeah, we, we have a lot of fun on board. <laughs> you can't have fun with blues. Oh, you, oh. oh no, sorry, you're right. You have fun with blues. You it's can't. just the audience exactly. that doesn't. That's the oh, thing. Yes, okay, yes, right. Yeah. right, fair enough. So, uh, did you start off with blues, or, or did you, you you were just instinctively this is the music for me right from the start when you were three? No, not three, not three. I, le I learned to play classical guitar when I was about eight. Right. You know, like my mum sent me to guitar. Uh, straight away, by the way, you held that. Yes, uh, that's I was in Spain. Guitar. I could see the castanets. There you are. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I learned to play quite young right. um, and then I didn't really you know as a kid I didn't really enjoy that music but mm. it gave me um, made, my, made my fingers work I suppose and then about 13 listen to blues I like right. blues my dad's my dad's mate gave me a Fleetwood Mac album okay for the early blues stuff and I was oh, I want to do that I want to do that well, already uh, you're touching on the controversy of what is blues, because a right. lot of people will tell you that this is blues and this isn't blues, yes. whilst others will say, oh, no, 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 blues encompasses all these very many mm -hmm. diverse styles. Yeah. Um, so, and, and as I'm, even as I'm asking this, I know it's an impossible question, okay. but what defines something as a blues number? Uh, there are a number of definitions. Mm -hmm. So blues tends to be three, tends to be three chords. It right. tends to be one, four, five. So if you're in A, you're playing the A, and you're playing the D and the E. Okay. Right, one, four, five. That tends to be the situation with blues. It tends to be three chords. Also, it tends to be delivered in a 12-bar format. Right. So every yeah. 12 bars, it repeats. Every 12 bars. So that's one definition of it. Mm -hmm. Although that's not always the case. For example, John Lee Hooker plays a song on one chord. All, you know, there is no chord changes right. or structure. But equally, that's blues as well. Um, then there's a dancing, a dancer's answer, which is the twelve-bar structure. Ah, so when you're okay. choreographing yeah. for something that's a blues, right. you're, you're, you've got a different number because normally things are in eights and sixteens. That's it. Yeah. But yeah. blues will be in twelves. Yeah. 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 Um, but that's nothing to do with the feel of the music at all. No, that's just a structure, so you know where yeah. the, where the song's going. Yeah. What else defines blues? I don't know. I don't know. I know that. As any musical scene can be quite can become quite cellular, mm -hmm. it would be difficult for an act to get a gig at a blues festival if they didn't tick certain boxes. Ah, okay. Hats, obviously. Hats, hats, yeah. and generally loud guitars or uh, acoustic guitars or a number of you know twanginess. Twanginess. You could get some twanginess. I mean, th that would be Americana rather than blues. Okay. Twangy. Yeah. See, I, I, I have a limit for twanginess. I have a, you know, right, I, okay. I, can, I can tolerate twanginess to a point, uh -huh. and then it's just too twangy. Okay. Um, I've been to some blues dance events where they've got in a chap who's ever so good at being twangy, yeah. but he just can't stick to a, a tempo. And when you're trying to dance to him, yeah. you can't feel where you are in the music. Uh -huh. and, and 
you know, listening to him separately from dancing, right. so you might go, oh, that's a nice bit of twangy. Yeah, um, but it doesn't work with dancing. I, yeah. with, with, with the twangier ones, no, it really doesn't. Okay, all right, but yeah. Hmm. yeah, I can see that. You want a three-piece, really, don't you, for a dance thing? You want drums, bass, and guitar, or drums, bass, and piano to Normally, drive yeah. it along. And, you bit know. Of a, yeah, a bass is a nice, nice yeah. deep pulse. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you say loud guitars loud and, and guitar. twangy guitars. Mm -hmm. um, so do you have any special tunings or anything like that? For blues? Yeah. Uh, yes. If you see this thing on my finger here I've been wearing, that is called a slide. Right. So um, I'm going to pick this guitar up and show you. That's okay. Should we do that now? Uh, okay. This is a big old resonating guitar. And particularly for blues, one would tune this to an open chord. Right. So if I were playing normal guitar, I'd put my fingers on like this, and that would make that chord. But what I've done is tune the guitar to that chord already. So I don't oh, okay. put my fingers on it. Which means I can get a slide, mm -hmm. and I can go. And it stays together it stays, all the way up. Exactly, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And it also means I can leave, uh, leave the, the strings ringing. So it's like the many drones on a bagpipe or something. Exactly. So, and, yeah. and now you can have can hit any note, leave it ringing, and it won't clash. Exactly. It might not be the great note, but it's not going to be the wrong note. It's it's tuned into the, the position. Right. So that's quite a bluesy thing to do. Right. Now something bluesy. has to be say about the fabulous bluesy state of rust you've got this into. <laughs> did, did you have to spend ages attacking it with a Dremel to get that effect? No. This is, I've had this guitar for twelve years, and it's done out. 1500 gigs or something like that. Right, so you just want leave so, it steeped in seawater overnight each time. When I bought it, years. it looked like that. That's not right. what it looked like new. And I mean, 1500 gigs with my hand. You can see my hand sits there, and you can see where it. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah. So it's it's not fake, that's real. That's me, I did that. <laughs> okay. But I feel that you haven't done anything to arrest it. You, you've been no. quite happy that it's gone in that direction. Because it looks great. Does it, does it add to the sound? Can you, can you hear the rust? Yeah, a little bit. It has mellowed, actually. It's right. not quite as tinny as it was. Yeah, in all seriousness, it has mellowed in, over time. What happens with this guitar, because it mm -hmm. looks so beautiful, is I'll do a gig, and at the end of the gig, you'll have someone with a camera, and they'll say, can I have a photograph? And you're like, yeah. Right. No, not you. Just, 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 just no, the no, guitar. Can you get out of the way? <laughs> yeah. That, that is impressive. I mean, here, it's absolutely completely encrusted. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I've heard that yeah. because of the oils that come out of my hand, that, that kind of preserves it, also it keeps it in that state rather than makes it fall apart. Someone told me that, whether it's I true or not. I couldn't imagine, know. yes, the, the, yeah. the oils would, would help. Yeah. <laughs> but, nice uh, Yeah, um, it certainly has that um, rust belt, <laughs> American. <laughs> I, I can see yeah. the, 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 uh, the, the, the propeller for the, for the generator with one missing, you know, with, right. one, with one missing yeah. vein, squeak, yeah. squeak, squeak, going round. Yeah, that's and, it. Uh, Can you hear it resonating? With a rocking chair. Can you hear it ringing? Ah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that'll come out on the mic, but it, yeah, they... Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I suspect it will, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, armed with that, mm -hmm. uh, can, you, can you make that sound not bluesy? <laughs> Here I'm hearing this a sitar. Yeah. So uh, it's the wee wah That's because the, the sitar that that's played, that piece is played on, right. has all of those resonant mm -hmm. strings going on, which is essentially that. If I retune this slightly, it could sound much more like a sitar. So this is tuned to a major chord. And a sitar is tuned to neither a major. So you you chord. could come up with the first Bollywood uh, blues sound. Resonated bully. And you know that could be your niche. I think there's an untapped market there. I'm right. There, that there down. are over like 400 million Hindus. That's a lot of people. And none of them listen to blues. Well, yeah, but if it sounded like a sitar, then maybe they would. Yeah. You're onto something, man. Thank you. Yeah. That's a good tip. I'm gonna well, write that down. <laughs> Let's go on to that, man. I'm gonna. Um, I mean, I'm obviously um, very happy to be here and because I get an opportunity to, to play some blues, a proper blues musician, and get to whistle. And none of this would have happened if one of my viewers had not sent me this. This is um, my first ukulele, and uh, I started playing it uh, the day it arrived. And um, uh, it is true that they are actually fairly easy to play. 
Um, the very first week or so, uh -huh. uh, my fingertips definitely yeah. got quite sore, yeah. uh, but uh, it uh, soon passes. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking, even though I've never played you, I'd never played you before. I could this is actually quite a good instrument it's and lovely, um, yeah. anyway I, 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 uh, I looked it up on the interweb and yes this is actually quite a good ukulele oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> so I was then frightened to take it to the beach because you know um, right. I mean what on earth do Hawaiians do with all that their yeah, sand and surf uh, so I got this a beach uh, Hawaii, um, uke it's uh, it's plastic and it cost me 37 quid and it's not, it's not as good yeah. but it's it's fine yeah yeah, um, job. So I'm perfectly happy with that, and then of course you get into uke suddenly, and uh, I got a, I got a, a baritone uke which is tuned like a guitar. That is, that's the top four strings of this guitar, of a normal guitar, I think. Oh, well, except this oh. one, of course, is slightly out of tune as we discussed <laughs> right. earlier. Right. Yeah. So you were just playing that. Yeah. Um, and we discovered by putting my tuner gadget uh, on it that it was a whole tone out. Yeah. Oops. Right, but, but clearly we, you don't mind. <laughs> no, it, because it's just you were whistling and it's me. Right. There's nothing else melodic going on. Mm. So you just tuned your whistle to the guitar and I sang to the guitar and it's fine. Provided, you know, if we had a piano playing, playing along with it, we'd need to be in tune, need to be in key, you know, to constant right. pitch. But because it's, it doesn't matter, just, you know. Well, that's interesting because you know, you're, a, you're a professional and, and presumably you, you have high standards, but high standards of that particular aspect of tuning not an issue for you. No, no. Yeah. No. I mean, it would be, as I say, if you're playing a band, then you have to, particularly with a piano, because you can't retune a piano easily. Oh, big job, yeah. Exactly. But if you, if it's just a bunch of guitars, because they're so easy to tune, right. you can tune wherever you like. Hendrix used to tune half a tone flat. That's what he did. That was his thing. So everyone tunes down. Oh, I see. So he took the whole band with him. Yeah. Well, oh, see, with the bass player, everyone goes just a tone, half a tone down. Right. And it gives it a bit more depth and it becomes a bit dirtier, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, do you know, um, it's a song that I often call Awfully Different Without You. Okay. But it's actually called, <laughs> it's actually called Don't Get Around Much Anymore. You were talking about it earlier. Yeah. I va vaguely know it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I'd, I it. Go, I'd, I'd quite like to play that with you. And that, that could make, that could be a separate video and, and we can, we can watch that. But while I've got you here, yes, you have got uh, an album to promote. Oh, we have. Yes. So. We were telling you earlier that we all live on a ship, the Merchant Vessel Sea Witch, mm -hmm. so we have written some songs and uh, whilst we're on the ship, so we've right. got an album coming out called Songs from the MV Sea Witch. Right, nautical themed? Nautical themed. Right. Um, and some of the songs go like this. Oh yeah, Some okay. of the songs go like this. All oh, right, depending because on the weather. Depending on the rock and roll of the boat, yes. Yeah. Um, and it comes out in September. This is the album that you're whistling on. You're going to be oh, right. on the tune, you know. Um, it comes out in September, but we are doing a pre-sales package for that album. Mm -hmm. Which means not only do you get a T-shirt and CD and all this kind of stuff, but also if you get it to us early enough, you can be on the album. Oh, uh so what do people right. need to do? So uh, we have a song called Hey Pablo, and we, if you uh, purchase the pre-order package, then we will send you an email with all of the details of how to record yourself right. shouting this, Hey Pablo! And then we get a load of them together, not you, the actual recordings, and we mix them in the studio, and when you get your CD, your name will be on the album, as will your voice. Oh, right. So you get a credit. Yeah, you well. get a credit and you get on the album. Okay, so the yeah. Pablo Chorus. Pablo Chorus. <laughs> right. Yeah, the big Pablo Chorus. That's what we're going to call it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So, um, so you're recording this in, uh, you're putting it together in August yes. for release in September. That's right. Yeah. So people need to get their skates on and they need to, if they want to take part in, in being on the album, oh, yeah. they have to be well, have to well before it. the 1st of August. Please. Right. Otherwise, we'll get really panicked. <laughs> no, fair enough. As quick as you can, please. Okay. Yeah. Quick as you can, please. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, should we put the details down in the comments? Oh, there'll be a link in the description with everything right. you need. And he, perhaps even now, there's a mosaic and something happening on the screen. Who knows what I do in post prod? Right. Oh, grand. Thanks, thanks for coming along. Nice one. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting us to your house. It's really lovely to be here. It is genuinely. Thank you. <laughs> Genuine selfie. It's good. Thank you.